David Zerutsky from the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, as you can see by my shirt, this is not a James Bond wardrobe podcast. No, this is about the James Bond workout. Actually, it's the James Bond ab workout part two. We did one a long time ago, and we're going to do one again. Just received this shirt from the Hoffler Clinic. I don't even know what the Hoffler Clinic is, so no spoiler alerts. The logo on it is getting me a little bit nervous, but I think it's trying to tell me that as I approach my 48th birthday, I've got to stay in tip-top shape or at least make an attempt. So this ab workout today, I'm going to tell you right from the beginning, here's my little asterisk. It is not unique at all, okay? I've robbed things from people from different things like P90X to create this. In fact, it's very close to the P90X one, but it's a great 15-minute ab workout. We're not going to do all 15 minutes of it. I'm going to go through many of the moves, gives you the count, and then it's up to you to really start doing this. But it's a really good ab workout for my age group, and what I mean by that is 35 to 55. It's not so aggressive. You can do it three or four times a week. It's not going to overtax your muscles, but it's a really nice workout. So let's get started. And by the way, there's really no warm-ups with this, which is really great. The first one is called Tin Man Windmill. Basically, what you do is you get out like this, you put your feet shoulder width apart, and all you're going to do is go down. So it's one, and then up, two, and then up, three, and then up, and I'll turn this way so you can see it full on, four, and then up. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to push over and stretch and reach this hand to the sky as much as possible. Really twist yourself and then straighten up. That feels good on the back. And you want to bring it all the way across and straighten up. And you're going to do each side 10 times. That's the first move. The next move is something really crazy. It's called dolphin hops. Now with dolphin hops, you're going to get down in what's called sphinx. Okay? So you're going to notice that my elbows are shoulder width apart. My hands are also shoulder width apart. Okay? And what you're going to do is just with your legs and your feet, you're going to hop up three times. One, two, three. See how I'm making like an A? This kills the shoulders and bicep. And then back. That's one. One, two, three. And then back. One, two, three. And then back. Now, every third one, you want to hold it. One, two, three, hold, and back. You're going to do this 15 times. And it ain't easy. Your shoulders, your biceps, everything is going to kill. Let's move to the next one. So this next one is called CY Reach. I really like this one. You're going to get down. You're not going to put your feet straight out. You're not going to bring them up. You're going to bring them about halfway like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a C. You want to first hold on to the back of your thighs and you want to lean back. Oh yeah, now you're feeling it. Try to lean back. That's easy. This, that's hard. So you want to hold it and you're going to bring it up and make a Y. Try to stretch as much as you can and back to C. Why? I don't know why. And then back to C. You want to test yourself, try to bring yourself back as far as possible. Y, C. Y, C. And by the way, you want to hold it a little bit longer than I'm holding it. You're going to do 10 on each side. And then we move to the next exercise. This one's called Sphinx Crunch. Now, you all know Sphinx now. I showed you how to do Sphinx. You certainly know what a crunch is. Imagine putting them all together. So, I'm down in Sphinx like this. Shoulder and elbows. Hands. Don't bring your hands in. Bring them out. That's the real secret. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to bring your right knee to your right elbow. Okay? I'm doing it right now. One, two, three, four, five, and then slowly back. Left to left elbow. One, two, Three, four, five. Everything's shaking. One, two, three, four, five. 
Now what you want to do is you want to keep your butt down as much as hot possible. Don't do this. Don't do this. Keep it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Next side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And believe it or not, you want to do 15 on each side. Ow, ow, ow. It hurts, trust me. Now, you're going to do an abadrome, or abadrome, whichever way you want to put it. This is a series of movements with your legs. Now, if you are not super flexible, and at my age I'm not, what you want to do is try to create as much flexibility as possible. But what you want to do is you want to lay down like this. It's your opportunity to relax for a second. Put your arms out wide and bring them down five inches, just like that. This is the relaxing part. Now you want to bring your legs up. They don't have to go crazy up. But what you want to do now is bring them halfway to your right hand. To the top. To the left hand. By the way, this is a great stretch. I mean, you're going to feel really good. To the top. Now to the bottom. To the top. To the right hand. To the top. To the left hand. To the top. And you're going to do that sequence ten times. And it's going to hurt. This one's crazy. Now, what you're going to need is a dumbbell. And you want it really light. By the way, I love these Bowflex ones because look at this. I mean, I've got my whole set right here. And I mean, when I say lightweight, this is five pounds. Choose a lightweight because it's some crazy movements. So what you're going to do is, you're going to get down on your side, and I'm going to walk you through this form, because the form is very important. You want to take your left, you're going to be on, on your right arm, right side, take your left leg, put it like that. Just like you're watching TV, no big deal, right? Take your weight and bring it up, and then raise yourself up. Now what you're going to do here is, you're going to do two hip drops. One, two, and then bring the dumbbell underneath you as much as you can, and look at my feet. The feet are everything. You want to keep your feet apart like that, on the balls of the feet, hold it for five seconds, and then bring it back up. And then two more hip drops. One, two, and then underneath. And then up. One, two. Hold your dumbbell under here for five seconds. Three, two, one, and then back up. Two hip drops, underneath. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to do six on each side. So after you've done six on that side, get on your left. Make sure your arm's secure. Right leg over the left. Arm up. Two hip drops. One, two. Dumbbell goes under. One, two, three, four, five. Look at the balls of my feet. And up again. Six on that side. The second you're done with that, and you will hate me for this, you're going to take that same dumbbell, lay flat, and you're going to go into banana. This is banana. Legs up. Your shoulders are off the ground. Dumbbell's behind you. Try to bring in your ab as much as possible. Don't pooch it out. And you're going to come up into boat. One, two, three, four. Try to put that weight on the ground. And back to banana. Up to bow. By the way, it's okay. This is, you know, you're not going to be perfect. That's some other bozos workout. One, two, three, four. And then back to banana. Hold it. Up to bow. One, two, three, four. And then back to banana. Up. One, two, three, four. Back. The banana. You really want to attack yourself? Try to keep your legs straight. Try to keep your legs straight in boat. One, two, three, four. That kills. And then bring it back. Ten times. And I promise you, you will hate me. Last exercise. Yay! Last exercise. It's horrible. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to get on our backs. 
You do not have to be perfect, but we are going to try to go to 100 with this workout. What you want to do is clasp your fingers, put it behind your head like that, and you're going to bring your right elbow like that and your left knee. So you all know this pose. You want to keep your right leg out as much as possible, and we're going to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you notice that one set of ten is slow, one set of ten is fast. And you want to do that all the way up to 100. It's going to kill. If you don't get through it the first time, don't be surprised. However, we got to have a burnout, right? We've got to burn all of these things here especially at our age. So here's what you do. When you get to 100 after doing all of those, and I think what I'll do is I'll start at 80 just to show you what that looks like, you're going to notice something changes at 100. So here we go. 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now watch this. 101. 102. Try to twist as much as you can. 103. 104. This is the killer part. 105. I haven't even done 100 and I'm dying here. 106. 107. 108. 109. 110. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Done. Whew. By the way, that was like a quarter of the workout you're supposed to do, or maybe half, and I'm still, my abs are dying, I'm sweating, but don't stop. What you've got to do now that you've worked out the abs is you've got to stretch, or else you're going to be feeling this in a very poor, bad way. So here's what you do. After you're done with that workout, it should take you about 15 minutes to do all that. You want to grab your knees and just rock. Just rock. Oh, yeah. No big deal. You want to rock back and forth. You want to plant your feet on the ground and go up into bridge. What this is doing is stretching out your abs and your spine. It feels really good. What you want to do is slowly bring your butt down. Slowly. Take your time. No big deal. And then it touches the ground. Bring your knees up. This is the best part. Bring your knees all the way over. Take your right hand. Push down to get a stretch. And look at your left hand. Give me money. And you want to hold that for about 10 seconds. And after you've done that, you want to bring your knees back up again and bring it to the right. So this is just to stretch everything out. Make sure your abs aren't just totally, absolutely destroying you the next day. Last move. It's going to feel great. Get on your stomach. You want to just do a small little cobra. And then the cobra goes up to strike. So you want to stretch it out a little bit. And then the final thing, this is all just good stuff. It's what's called child's pose. You want to stretch it out. And done. 15 minutes, three or four times a week. I promise you, you will feel great. At any age, you'll start to get that. And what's interesting is a lot of people feel like, oh, I've got all this fat over my stomach. You know, why should I even be working on it? Trust me, it helps to really sculpt all the different areas. Every move that I showed you is not just for, you know, Brad Pitt abs. It's for your sides, your obliques, your lower back, everything where, especially, you know, 35 to 55, you start to get pockets around here. It'll start to whittle you down lightly. So, this has been David Zaritsky in uh, my workout area, which is why it's a bit disheveled. For the Bond Experience, for the ab workout part two, We'll see you very soon. Take care.